They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Maters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing grandpa's chickens. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet. Gonna educate your palate. Right here in Farmer's Kitchen. In Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. interrupt your regular program for this important announcement. What are you doing sitting on your can with a garden full of vegetables and no real plan? So get off your dog and take a stand. It's time for you to can. Clean your pressure cooker good. It's time for you to can some food. If you don't grow veggies, don't be blue. There's a farmer's market close to you. Tomatoes and potatoes, beans and corn, sauerkraut and pickles, and I'll be darned. You can even can sausage and sugar beets. Oh, ain't summertime sweet. If you don't grow veggies, then don't be blue. There's a farmer's market quite close to you. If you grow your own, you're a step ahead. Now listen to what my grandma said. Tomatoes, potatoes, beans and corn, sauerkraut and pickles, and I'll be darned. You can even can sausage and sugar beets. Ain't summertime sweet. What are you doing sitting under your can with a garden full of vegetables and no real plan? So get off your dump and take a stand. It's time for you to can. Brought to you by Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Do you think on radio? I like I think he's crazy. I, I, th I liked him. Well, he said you could uh, can potatoes. Mm -hmm. Or corn. Mm -hmm. Or carrots. Good idea. I know you can. You know what? And that's another thing. We're, stuff's coming out of the garden right now. Bless your heart. Bless my heart. <laughs> Bless our hearts. Uh -huh. It's been crazy yes, around here. Is. I can't even bend down to help you pick vegetables. So Sorry. we have a lot of stuff coming on board and we got to get it put up. Now, yeah, our freezers are full mm -hmm. of deer and pork and other such things. So we're going to store some stuff just like this. Now, why would you want to can potatoes? Now, there's one reason why I like to can potatoes like this is because you can store them, cut them about a half inch thick. And what happens when you take them out of the jar and put them into the pan? Put a little butter and onions. Yum. The best fried potatoes you ever made in your life because they're already kind of cooked a little, kind of cooked yeah. a little bit, but you can brown them real easy. My mouth's watered just thinking about I'm it. I'm hungry. Okay, we're going to talk about carrots. We're going to can some carrots. Okay. Same idea. Good. Same idea. And they're pretty. Look how pretty the jars are. Yeah. Now, something that's not so pretty a lot of times when you can it is meat. It's true. That doesn't mean it doesn't taste good. Now, think about the stuff that we've canned. We've canned chicken. Right. We've canned deer. We've canned beef. We've mm -hmm. canned pork. But you know what? A lot of people don't think about. I started digging deep inside my memory vaults. You know, things that people used to can a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Old-fashioned stuff. Right. That I remember people talking about. I remember people taking sausage, pieces of sausage, sausage patties, mm -hmm. just brown them on each side. We're going to can sausage tonight. It's absolutely wonderful to have this kind of stuff. Corn. Yes, you can can love, corn. I love corn. You can freeze it. Obviously, it's very good like that. But if you want to make grandma's special corn, we're going to show you how to do that. It's so easy. We've already canned some corn. We're going to show you how to get that taste. There's that taste, that corn you've had several times in your life. You think, man, that's the best corn I've ever eaten. There's a secret to that. You know grandma's secret? No, I don't. Shh, okay. don't, don't tell them here I don't know. Pickles. A little while back, we asked for pickle ideas, and people ran like the wind. Yeah, they did. <laughs> and they mentioned Aunt B. I don't know how many times. Remember Aunt B's pickles that yeah. nobody wanted to eat? Grandma Nikki made some pickles. Now, those weren't from cucumbers from the garden. She right. took already processed pickles and turned them into something extraordinarily good. You ate those all that night. But what happens if you've grown your own cucumbers and you mm -hmm. want to do something with them? So we're going to try a couple of things. Now, when I was digging back in the vault and I started thinking about the pickles from the old days. Do you remember the old timers talking about refrigerator pickles? I do. All right, you know what that means? That means they're not fermented. They don't have to process for a long time. You put them in, you make them, you put them in the refrigerator, and you eat them. It's for instant consumption. Yeah. They'll last a couple weeks. If I open a jar of pickles, they're not going to last that long anyway. A minute with you. 
Yeah, I like okay. my pickles. So we're going to talk about refrigerator pickles tonight. We've got our fan on because it's hot. So if you yes, hear something in the background, it's not an airplane getting ready to take off. It's a little Eskimo fan that's, right. that's keeping, keeping us, us cool. nice and cool. So we got a lot to do tonight. Normally, we might be out shooting something, going somewhere, but Nikki has to stay close to home. She can't lift anything. She's so got to be very careful. And you got to feed me. I liked your dance there. Did you like my dancing? I'm going to show me those moves again. All I'm right. afraid to move. I'm Top being careful. Be right cautious. There. We got this little mandolin. It's nice, isn't it? That's very nice. I may have you hold that and then I'll okay. cut them up. Now, for me, it's a lot easier. I'll go ahead and have you trim these guys up. We're going to cold pack some carrots. What does that mean? These go directly into the jar. That's cold packing. We're going to take our boiling water. You wonder why the steam was rising here because this water is boiling. We're going to pour onto those carrots. Then we're going to put a little bit of salt. When you're taking your pressure cooker and you're getting ready to use it, there's one thing you have to remember. Check your seal right here, this rubber seal. Take it out, look at it, make sure there's no places where it's broken. Make sure that you have a clear hole. The worst thing that could happen is that for that to get stopped up. That's where your pressure escapes. If that gets fouled up, you got problems. Then you'd have problems. That's about the only thing bad that can happen. Make sure that you seal it properly, put the top back on properly, and you're good to go. Now, do you want me to mandolin? I already okay. cut a few, but I'll let you do it. Now, I'm doing this just for uniformity. Be careful of your fingers. That's why I'm going to let you do it. I've only got a few left, yeah. and I'm, I'm going to try to protect those. That's a lot quicker. It's a lot quicker to me than trying to cut them up with a knife. Now, the salt is up to you. If you would like to put salt in this, you can put about a teaspoon. Now, do you have to cook these first, or you can just boil no, them? No, these are raw packed. You can hot pack okay. them. If you'd like to hot pack them, you can boil them for five minutes, stick them in here. Okay. But I raw like packing, better. raw packing, easier to me, it's a lot easier. And that's now, it. what we're going to do that's is it. take our hot boiling water. We're going to put just enough in there to cover that. And we want about an inch head space, so that's about right. Now, obviously, your jars need to be sterilized. You need to be very careful. Make sure that there's nothing on the top of your jar that will keep that from sealing. And you're pretty much good to go. Now, if you look at our Hoosier cabinet back there, you see all our food back there stored nicely. I love to look at it after we've processed it. To me, it's just pretty to look at, especially when you got a bunch of it. That seems too simple. That's it? That That's is it. it. Wow. Now, from here in a little while, we're going to put our non-cooked ones right over here. Okay. From here to the pressure cooker in just a little while. All right. Now, typically, if you use quarts or pints, there's a large separation of time with carrots, and I don't know why, but pints are 25 minutes, quarts are 30. Hmm. Now, with potatoes, it's different, and corn, it's different, and other things are different. But what's next, you say? What is next? Did you say that? I did. What is next? Corn. Oh, okay.